What's up, YouTube? Jersey Game 9000 is back! That was an amazing victory, Luigi allowed me to give you the Witch Start stamp. Last time, we got the Witch Start stamp, this is like a quick recap. And we were about to add it to our collection, but... Wario decided to join the party. Because he claimed that he's the best, and he's the most wittiest around. Another exciting weekend of Mario Party 3! So they started arguing, the stamp got away, and then the Millennium Star had an idea. We should go to Gay Guy's yeah. Duel Map. So this is going to be another explanation video type thing. So we're going to head here to the Gay Guy, and we're going to learn about Duel Maps, because we've never seen one before, so let's do it. So first of all, as I said, I'm sorry, but there was no uploads last weekend. But I had to do a couple important things, so I could not upload. And I had work at six, so that didn't work. I didn't happen to do that. Okay, so this is gonna be a dual map here. The hearts are going to be involved here, and to lose all your hearts, you lose the game. And you'll be able to use partners in this. And to determine who goes first, the Millennium Star will uh, rotate, and depending on which direction he goes, he'll determine who will go first. So, it looks like Mario's gonna go first, because so that's Yahoo! who yeah. Mario picked, I guess, I don't know. So you will start off with, your, with a, a, um, a partner here, and every character will start off with the same partner, like Mario will start off with the Koopa Troopa, while Luigi will always start off with the Goomba. And then you will choose A or B in terms of rear or front. So they will pick. And depending on where they are, is what you're going to look at on the top here, where it says coin one and coins... Let's say look at Mario right now, and he has, um... They're like a single one, just like a regular dual map. And every time you have Koopa on the map, he will lose you will lose one coin for that. And because Koopa is in the back, or he's in the no, he's in the front, his attacking pattern is one, and his defense, which is the heart, is two. If you stop on a basic um, space, you will. You would change into your own space, a picture of your character's face will show up on each of your faces. So then you get a wand, and then you land on a Luigi space, you do not want to do that because you will lose coins, and the opponent will get it. However, if you land on your own space, then you will just receive coins, so that's always good. On turns 1 to 5, 3 coins will be stolen, on turns 6 to 10, 5 coins will be stolen, on turns 11 to 15, 8 coins will be stolen, and after turn 15, 10 coins will be stolen. This is a minigame space where a dual minigame will, com will commence. So a minigame will be chosen, and we will play the game. And end in the line, that's a luck-based minigame. And if you win, you get 10 coins like you always do. Oh, and you also have the game guy space here. You, that's probably the one thing you do not want to land on. This is a buff type thing. The Koopa will cost more, but the power and the defense will go up as well. So that works. This is a backspace where you turn and again, you will go backwards. And this is a happening space, just like it normally is in, in maps. And what's gonna happen is you're gonna get whatever this is, which part in position is something maybe you do not you don't want. But for Mario's case, that actually works out better for him. This is the bell top, you'll meet him in each of the different board maps. And every time you pass him, the number will go down. And then if you reach him at zero, you will play a dual minigame. When you make one wrap around the board, a special event will occur. You will get 10 coins. And you will get to choose a partner from this machine here. And press A to stop. And depending on what you get, is what you want to place him. Now, he's a defensive person, so you probably want to put him behind. As I think he is. I could be wrong. Oh, he disappeared. I guess I'm not. 
And if you do get the lucky rotation and you have the choice of pretty much picking them whatever you want, the bomb, not exactly a good choice. And then obviously you pick your spot. I will go over what each character does. Now they're gonna go over the battle! Haha, -ha, the battle! So what happens gonna happen here is that the Goomba is going to attack Toad because Toad is there. And depending on him, the heart situation that the character has, is how much health the character has left. And because Luigi lost hearts, oh, that's a miss. Yeah, that could happen sometimes, it's kinda suck. And because Goomba has two attack, and Toad has one defense, Luigi also lost a heart. And you can also have a battle going backwards. What's gonna happen here is that Toad is going to attack from behind, and hit the Goomba. The Goomba's going to die, because the Goomba has one defense. But, that's all. Oh! Don't hit me! And then, of course, Luigi got some coins. Yeah, he should've got coins there. And if neither of you nor your partners have any partners to attack, there won't be a battle, so, yes. So you just automatically go right past him. Don't automatically give him a, a turtle! This is kind of a weird way to do this. Here. Oh! Don't do that! Of course, this guy is first. Could we keep it right into Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is getting kind of boring here. Talking about this crap. You will die! Oh, the turtle is dead. Yep. Check this out! If he's with you, your partner can't steal coins and you're on his face. Toad Raiden, there, yes. Is, is he going over every single character? The bomb just skips the, the... the... Goomba, which is great and goes for a direct attack. Unfortunately, once he blows up, he's all done. I guess that's kind of weak of weakness. And now it's time to do some of the true offensive. And the difference is spirit, Boo. So yeah, he is going over all the attack. Boos are good to have here. Because... Once Boo gets attacked, he does send some attacking. So that's kind of like a... Hey, a win-win situation if you have Boo and you never see Boo say things. So that's kind of good. Now you you have two partners for every for every every time, or you're gonna have up to two because you don't you don't won't get two to start with. Ooh, the chain chomp! Get ready! Chain chomp attacks everybody. Oh, there goes the toad. And of course the 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 womp is not gonna lose much. Chain chomps cost a lot, but attack one heart from each character and stamina two. I think that's a pretty good uh, strategy. And now we had the, the the thwomp here. The thwomp, I think, it just randomly attacks one person. I could be wrong. Maybe this is a basic attack. And he's out for the count. Is he really going over like every single person? He is. Oh, this is gonna take forever. I didn't think he was gonna actually go over every single character, people. But I guess that's that's a good thing. This is Mr. Blizzard, attack one, stamina three, sale only two. And who else do we got? We have the Koopa Kid, not somebody you really want. It's Bowser! He gone! Oh, Bowser is a good attack, man. Look at that. There's a two in five chance that'll transform into Bowser himself! And of course, if he just goes himself, oh, it's a miss. And now we have the... Oh, the, oh, the Sniffet! Sniffets are good to have because you may occasionally get some coins. There's two in... And he has two of each of stamina and attack. Oh, get ready because we have the plant! The plant will give you a lucky dice and you'll be able to move up. Unfortunately, sometimes it, that's not gonna help you because you went from minigame to the Shy Guy minigame, which is not, like, that's not what you want. 
Oh. Oh, thank God, because you took forever to do that. I wasn't planning on that day in so long, people. I'm sorry. Let's just get on with the real board map. So you sort of saw what kind of happened there. Um, he was kind of going over characters, but we're gonna head to Gate Guy, and we're going to do this. Let's just skip all those stuff. The basic rules apply here: no handicap, all that good stuff. And let's do some uh, Doom uh, maps here at Gate Guy. Our first duel. Let's do 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 do. Okay, this isn't Yu-Gi-Oh, people. Okay, so we're gonna get to figure out who goes first now. Let's see. Luigi will be uh, heads, and Tails will be Wario. So let the Millennium Star spin. Hmm, this won't do. I have to spin again. I think I've, I don't think I've ever seen that. Oh, don't do that. It's decided. Wario will go first. So Wario will be the blue, and the red will be Luigi. So we're gonna be the red team here. Sometimes going. So Wario will always start with the bomb, and Luigi will always start with the Goomba. We're gonna put the Goomba in the front. Finally, I'll give you ten coins. Let that the game begin. Okay. I probably wanted the bomb on the back. I think I just decided the Wario's for him. I don't know why. So gate guy is there's gates, and you have to pay money for each gate. And there's the bell dude to go have him, to have you go through. And now he's gonna go backwards, and he's gonna move nine spaces backwards. There were no he has no attacking partner, so he can't attack. And now we have a happening space. Here we go. We're ready. Uh, off to a good start, and he's gonna get 20 coins right off the bat. So that's good for him. So, let's see. Let's view the map here. Ooh, a minigame. Or a question mark. I don't know. This is to tell you what partners do here. Toad kind of, well, Toad, the dice kind of explained every single one of them. Everyone has their advantages and their disadvantages. We're gonna pay, actually, go up. I don't- oh, okay, so not, because happening is going to be good, and we can have that thing go down. And I'm- watch me get the one that gets minus. That's uh, not something I really needed to happen there, but... whatever. Oh my, you switched places. Yes, we did. Now then, that's pretty much a turn, so... And there are 20 turns. Sometimes you may play, like, three minigames in one turn, so... Speaking of minigame, we have a minigame right here, and unfortunately for me, I'm gonna have to get hit here. This sounds good. Right, we're gonna play Bowser Toss, our first dual minigame. Here we go. Yay, he's so happy! Spin Bowser round and round, and then throw him as far as you possibly can go. You adjust the angle with the control stick, and you repeatedly press A to spin Bowser. To really put Bowser far, if it's not that person A, the angle is important too. So here we go. So I'll press A as fast as you can and spin that Bowser. Um, what you want to do is make sure Bowser, first of all, is not all the way to the top. I'm not Ooh, going as fast as I should here. And you do not want Bowser to go. I suck. Oh, look at that! He got 50 something! Holy crap! 52.13, that is a new record, and he is the best, so he won that minigame. That's not one of my favorite minigames. I'm not good at pressing A repeatedly, apparently. So, uh, that weird guy is gonna give Wario 10 coins. And now I'm gonna go, I'm gonna lose 2 coins. That's my Goomba's cross, and I got a six, and I just gotta hope that, um... Well, there's ten coins right there. Let's get somebody from, from behind here. And stop! Mr. Blizzard, I don't think he's a good defensive person. The thing is, he has a bomb. 
Oh, he hope he is a defensive person. Okay, we're doing good here. Unfortunately, if we're too free time, he's gonna play GameStop, and I have to make sure this is all the same. And it is. This. What I like about this is that they automatically keep the settings of every gun. So we gotta hope that Wary does not win this, and... Oh my god, he did not. So he's gonna lose that bomb. Okay by me. So I get a 1, which is good, because I get another uh, spot. And there goes the bomb. Good. So now Wario can't attack, and now we gotta hope that he passes me. But he's not going to, because he's gonna go backwards. Two! Um... No. I barely have enough to pay for these idiots. And there we go, I got all those spots. So now I'm pretty good here. With spots. The only problem is Wario is going to, um... Not have any coins to give me, and I'm, I'm going to lose my partners here. Nine?! Um, oh, yeah. Thanks for not- Thanks for caring that I don't have money. I'm gonna lose my partners next turn. This is an interesting way to start off a map. We both have no money. And there we go. One coin down, both partners out. I know. I saw. What's good about this is I'm getting a bunch of spots. Uh, I'm gonna get screwed here because Wario is gonna get a partner and I'm gonna lose health. <laughs> My hope is that he's stupid here and puts him and puts him behind. This is a good defensive player, but he'll probably put him ahead because I'm seriously. Oh, he has no attack. So he has a zero attack. Oh crap! Okay, our first battle. I'm gonna lose because I don't have anybody to defend myself with. But he didn't attack. Because he had a zero attack, I guess. It wasn't. Hold on. No, get no. What am I doing? Stop that. He can take out your opponent's partner in one blow, but won't touch your opponent. Oh, okay. I guess. I guess that's a good thing to have, but I don't know. I think I I'd rather have an attack in person. <laughs> Thank you for my monies. Now let's see what I'm gonna get here. Oh, the plant! I love him! In one game, I like the plant, but put him in all offense. In the front. Let's move out! And let's get five coins in the process, because we're already on our next five turns already. Yeah, these are, these are... These go fast, so... Get ready. We're probably gonna have maybe one or... Probably two videos, and the second video is probably not even gonna make, um, 30 minutes, so. Considering that we're already almost done with this. Oh my god, look at all that defense he has. He has no attack! While I had the plant here, and I'm definitely not gonna go that way. The only problem is I need to get some money. Oh, thank god, just don't get a one. You know, I had a feeling that was gonna happen. So that's, that's the problem with the plant sometimes, though. He has the good attack, but he has that stupid dice that sometimes just kills you. I'm going down now. That's actually good for me. Because he may pass. Me. Oh, he's going backwards, you know. Stop doing that. Oh good, I can play for my plant for another turn. Yes, that's a good high number. Not going that way. I would love to go down to get the mini games, but then I'll lose my points. Yes, see that sometimes that's that's good to have. Thank God. Really, really, just just really. Oh whatever, that's a nice spot to have. Hopefully he lands on my uh, Luigi's down there, and uh, he can't pay. For his partners, you just pay for the whole fee and you lose and you lose all of them. So, and what's good for me is that hopefully he doesn't put things on defense. I can finally get rid of him. 
<laughs> well, my plan has three attacks, so we just can't get a defensive person. However, he has a Lucky here, so this could be bad. And he's gonna send out Baby Bowser for some strange reason. He is gonna put him on defense. I am gonna get five coins here, so he's gonna pay for my plant. Again. And here we go! It's time for a battle! Let the plants attack! And now we have a two-heart lead! And he's lost his partner. I'm not going that way. Can't to go behind him, they're too good. And look at that! We landed on our own spot to get five more coins. Ten turns remain as Wario gets a six. So we need, we need a good number here. Maybe the plants can help us. He is going down, which kind of scares me. Are you serious? That's just stupid. You can't do that. That shouldn't even exist. The problem is, if I go down there... Are you really... Really... Now he's winning because he has five coins. And now he has eight because we're on a different turn. Bye bye, pl bye bye, PD. PD Piranha Plant. Okay, well, I got a six. I can't go that way. This is very unfortunate. And what's kind of lucky for me is that I have no money. So, we, <laughs> we won't play a minigame. Okay. I'm gonna lose this because I have no money. There we go. Now let's get somebody on offense. Can I, do I get a lucky? I do. Okay, let's see. Let's see here. Oh man, I got a Goomba. What the hell's a Goomba gonna do? I'll put him on offense, I guess. Uh, I need to attack him again. And hopefully can reach him before, um... I keep, I keep hitting these things! And I keep pressing buttons I'm not supposed to. Eight. Let's go backwards. Actually, I made, I made it back to the start. So I might be able to get two Goombas. And if you get two of the same, you get a bonus. Your stats increase. So Wario is still winning because of the coin difference we have going here. But he's got Mr. Blizzard, but unfortunately for me... Oh, he's gonna put him in the front. Why would you get something so crazy? Well, thanks for giving me eight coins, bud. Now I'm winning. By one coin. Well, not anymore, now he's gonna give me ten coins here. So now I have a stable stab ability here. We're gonna get our defense now. Oh, the bomb's not a very good defensive player. But luckily, we do have somebody he can attack before, um... I don't think Mr. Blizzard... I'm pretty sure Mr. Blizzard got a random attack for us. So he was smart and did not go that direction, and unfortunately for me... Well, not, no, fortunate for me that I got money. 42 to be exact, and if I can just stay ahead of him... Coins, I'm in good shape. We're gonna go this way. And for the very reason that whoever wins this minigame gets 30 coins! And I wanted to do a one versus one minigame to get some money. As it's going to be... Another line! Like I said, it was a luck-based minigame. And here we go. So this, yeah, yeah, see how fast these dual maps are going. Woo! Okay, so what I like to do is copy the computer. So what the, what the computer is going to do is like... Oh, maybe not! Hopefully that... Hopefully the left is the right choice. It is! Okay, so left... Left is right. So we just hope that right is right. It's not. So two lefts in a row, man! Okay. What's good about this is now he's dead. And we got two lefts in a row, and what's the chances that it's right here? I don't know. I'm just gonna hope that it's right. No! 
It's three lefts. I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna lose. Uh -oh. Finish! That's freaking stupid. It shouldn't have been three lefts. It shouldn't have been three lefts in a row. Yes! It seriously should not have been three lefts. That's ridiculous. I just gave him the lead in that, too. You know? And look at this, another item, another uh, mini game. Like I said, we can potentially play three of them in a turn. So here we go, we're gonna play Tic Tac Hop, one of my favorite mini games here in Mario Party 3. I don't remember how far I used to go in this mini game, but I know I can go far. And especially me being on the outside. Where I am. Also helps. So it's pretty basic right now. But eventually, as you see, we're both gonna start moving here. And you gotta really keep an eye on that thing changing. Let me tell you. So, as we concentrate here, I'm just gonna help out Lilario dies. Um, he dies soon. There's one tricky part. I think that's... Oh, this is... This is the hardest one when we're both going in the same direction. I, I thought I jumped a little too early there and almost died for it. Wow, um, I hate when it changes like when we're really close. Because then you jump. We're at an easy spot here where that did not move. Hey, Wario, can you die so I can win? That would really be appreciative. Don't! Do not! <laughs> do not do- That's what I'm saying. I got a little tricked up there. And he's dead. 34, I can go farther if I really wanted to. But we won the mini game and anyway. Alright. So unfortunately for me, I won, I won the wrong minigame. Uh, like I said, end of the line's a luck-based minigame, so that's probably, that's probably the reason why I lost. But here we go. Where is gonna start? Hopefully he doesn't get a high number. And he's still gonna decide to go down, interestingly enough. Away from the action. Now, clear all spaces. That's gonna make all spaces back to the way they were in the original form. Which means, where well, has a chance to get more spaces than me now. And those spaces are key, as they were. As it was, I was able to keep my plant as long as I did. Because of those spaces. Really? I guess we're gonna see our first game guy minigame. Here we go. I hate these. Let me tell ya. Especially this one? No, this one's okay. This is sometimes. Do you want to hear the rules? No, I don't know. So, but, uh, what you have to do here is you have to figure out which one Toad is in. And you're not going to see what's happening. So, then we get to choose a chest and hopefully we choose for the best. And if we win, we get, ha we get double our coins. So, let's just choose this one. Yes! Yeah. Now you can... Now we, what he's gonna say is, you guessed correctly, now we can double our money if we try again. But I'm gonna say no. Because I just wanna win and I wanna keep my coin total the way it is, especially in these dual minigames. So, like we could have doubled 74 into um, 148, but I didn't, I didn't really wanna do that. So 74 I think is a good total to have. Now as long as we don't get hit, we'll win the mini. We'll win this. Especially with four turns remaining. As Wario is gonna move up. I think with him having Mr. Blizzard right now, but he is going back to start. So this is a tough decision here. I'm gonna get rid of the bomb, I think, actually. 
to get a good defensive player. Oh, the plant! The plant! I need the plant to be in the front. I have offensive players here. This isn't good. I'm, I'm offensive, as you like to call it. I'm gonna win this in the fact that he has more- I have more money than he is, and that's not a good ranking. Dual maps get ranks has- get, gets ranked as well. Um, you know what? We'll meet him halfway. Hopefully. Hopefully we don't get- Okay, what I want here is switch partner position. Well, power-up's gonna be good too. Yeah, power-up. That's gonna make Goomba go to... Um... Four. Which is good, and... And you automatically win if- you automatically win the game if, if plants in front from where we are right now. He's probably gonna get a defensive player here, but that's fine as long as it's somebody with one heart, which which I think uh, Koopa Kid is. So, so the, we're doing good. All we need to do now is get in front of him somehow. Oh wow, fourteen, Ugh. nine. I kinda don't like where I am, because now he's six spaces in front of me. Oh, uh, behind me. Come on, I don't wanna do this! Really? Really? Oh, <laughs> oh I'm doing this one again. This is a luck one, too. No, we got it. So, we got Toad and Koopa again. And once again, they're gonna... Figure out which one there he's in. I think I'm gonna choose the other one this time. It is different every time. There's no set pattern. Damn it! So I lost all my money. That's fine. I'm gonna get ten more coins. And problem is, I could have potentially lose now because of this. Oh, I <laughs> that sucks. I'm gonna lose my partners. Hopefully, actually, what I need him to do is somehow land on one of my Luigi spots. But I don't think I have a Luigi spot. And I got really lucky just now. <laughs> don't hit me. I'm gonna lose this. Give me, give me money. I'm, I, I lost. There's no way that I can win this. I need Boo. So as soon as I see Boo... Okay. No! That wasn't supposed to happen! Because of the game guy, I'm in a game, and I blew it. I've lost this. And because Wario regained his hearts as well, I also lost. Oh, man. Well... Partner there as well. You know, that sucks. Look at this. Look at this shit. If he didn't get healed, I would have won. And if I didn't lose that stupid mini game, I would have won as well. I guess you can see him at all your spaces. And these freaking back spaces, I tell you, they just ruin everything. So if you do lose a mini game, if you do lose, you get to um play again. So yes.